This goal from Martinez would have given Argentina a 2-0 lead and likely changed the outcome of the game, but it was controversially disallowed by VAR for offside. Let's take a look at whether the officials got the decision correct. Using the new VAR technology, this graphic is what we need to discuss, but let's first of all take a quick look at the offside law for some context. The laws of the game say this. The hands and arms of all players, including the goalkeepers, are not considered. For the purposes of determining offside, the upper boundary of the arm is in line with the bottom of the armpit. Now that we know how this should be applied to the Martinez situation for Argentina, let's go back to the VAR graphic and take a closer look. If we zoom in, these are the two areas VAR is considering, Martinez's shoulder and the Saudi Arabia defender's foot. If we zoom in even further and apply the guidance regarding the bottom of the armpit with a line, this is what we get. The red line shows armpit to upper arm. Anything past that is your shoulder, which you can legally score a goal with. The white line is level with the Saudi Arabia defender's boot, and so the tiny area we are talking about is basically this yellow triangle. We are talking about tiny fractions, probably just millimetres. Even at this level of scrutiny, it's almost too difficult to call. In these situations when it is virtually impossible to determine that he is actually offside, I believe the attacking player should receive the benefit of the doubt. Ultimately, VAR determined that it was offside, and we know that Argentina went on to lose the game. Had they gone 2-0 ahead, it's highly likely the final outcome of the game would have been different, and so these decisions really are hugely important. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.